Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to give out the special award tonight, and we've received hundreds of letters, but one in particular has stood out. So, we've decided to give that person the Champion of Champions Awards. This is the one, Santa. Oh, so it is. Now, who's it addressed to? Santa should have gone to Specsavers. Fairy, can you help me? Please deliver this award on the evening of Friday the 17th of November to a very special man who has been raising money for 30 years to help children with life-limiting illnesses. The winner of the Champion of Champions Award is... Going to find out after the break. <laughs> now, let's get Rudolph on my sleigh ready, because we need to make sure this award is delivered on time. But first, we need to send our reporter to find out all about the Champion of Champions Award. Fairy, can you add some magic? As if by magic, I'm here in Neston to meet Alan Johnson from Northern Lights Children's Charity. Now, he thinks we're here to talk about the charity. But first, let's find out what it's all about. Northern Lights gives children with life-limiting illnesses the experience of a holiday of a lifetime. Every year, just before Christmas, the charity takes a group of children, aged between 6 and 11, on an all-inclusive holiday to Lapland. The children experience a true winter wonderland adventure with sleigh rides, feeding reindeer, snowmobiles, tobogganing in deep snow, visiting the elf factory and, of course, the excitement of visiting Santa at his home. It is a truly unforgettable experience. Let's hear more now from Alan Johnson about why the charity was established. Yeah. Alan, great to meet you and to talk about the work of Northern Lights Children's Charity. Why is it so important that you take these young people over to Lapland? As a child, when you're ill, you tend to spend a lot of time in hospital. Taking them to Lapland takes them out of those surroundings, gives them something to look forward to when we tell them they're going on this trip and when they get there, they really, really enjoy themselves. The forgetting about the treatment that they've been on. What's the reaction like? What are the children's faces like when you're there? Oh, they just light up. You know, it, it, it's, it's magic just seeing them, especially when we go hunting for Father Christmas. 30 years in now as a charity, a massive achievement. Why did you initially come up with the concept of Northern Lights? Well, the charity was originally called the Christopher Johnson Fund. Um, that was in memory of my son who passed away at the age of five. Um, it was decided when he'd passed away between my wife and I and other friends that we would like to keep the fundraising going to help other children. The initial idea was that we'd probably just get a few televisions for a hospital ward, a games console for somebody at home. And then uh, on one meeting, Karen actually turned around to us and said, how about a trip to Lapland? And here we are 30 years later, still doing Lapland. And how much money have you raised to enable that to happen? In excess of 800,000. Over the years, I would say there's over 500 children that we have taken away. Tell us about some of the fundraising activities, how you've actually brought that money in. Money is raised through our annual ball. Uh, we've done a Santa Dash for a few years. We have also done a cycle to Lapland. We had a barn dance at the beginning of the year. We had a ladies' night in May. We ran this massive carnival. Heaven knows how we pulled it off, but that, that was a brilliant day out. I believe you abseiled down a lighthouse, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I've done that a couple of times, abseiled down Liso Lighthouse, but, uh, but that's along with other people. You do an incredible amount of work with quite a small team, I think it's fair to say. It's all voluntary. Um, they just do it because that's what they want to do. It's just nice to know that something good has come out of what happened with Christopher, with losing him. Um, his memory lives on as far as I'm concerned. Alan, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed for inviting us into your home and telling us all about the Northern Lights charity. Oh, thanks Thank very you. much, Nick.
Well, we've heard from the man himself. Time now to meet two people who work alongside Alan Johnson. They are both volunteer committee members at Northern Lights, the children's charity. With me now are Brian and Karen Jones. I can't fail to think, though, we've maybe met somewhere before, no? Uh, <laughs> Brian, first of all, uh, you have known Alan for many years. Tell us how you met and about Alan's work with the charity. Well, I think I first met Alan when we were both at Scouts together, and that's some 45 odd years ago. Uh, obviously, lastly, with, with his work through the charity. Um, you know, his, his commitment to the charity and his tireless work effort uh, knows no bounds. Uh, it's a real pleasure to work with Alan with the charity. He's a busy man, isn't he? He's it? a very busy man, yes. He, um, he's actually the secretary for, for Northern Lights uh, and has been for, for many years. Um, but probably the biggest part for, for Alan is that he is the Lapland coordinator. So he's the guy that oh, puts everything in place for Lapland. He's from booking the trip to start off with, to finding the children, to making sure that the parents are relaxed and happy with what's going to happen, to putting the presentation on and to be the coordinator when we're out in Lapland as well, which allows the other volunteers and the nurses to be able to concentrate on the children. If, uh, if we're ever at any do's or any fundraising events, he's the one that will always be on the microphone, will always be, help be um, selling Northern Lights and what we're doing. He's got so much commitment and so much time for the charity, um, we wouldn't be able to run without him. The charity's received various accolades over the years. Can you tell us about some of them? We were recipients of the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. We feel very honoured to be given that award. It's the MBE for voluntary organisations. Alan and I both received awards from the Prime Minister, Points of Light Award, and um, we were very proud again to be able to be honoured with those. Why do you think Alan deserves this award, the Champion of Champions for 2017? His work commitment is tireless and um, you know, he carries it out with such integrity. Um, you know, he's just an incredible guy. The dedication he's shown to the charity, the time he spends fundraising and the commitment that he's given to fundraise for all those children for all of those holidays, it's, he's a very special man. Karen and Brian Jones, thank you very much indeed. Now, we have managed to magic up a couple of people who would like to say a few words about Alan. Hi, Hi Dad. Dad! So excited to be here tonight with everyone with the charity. So proud of all the work you've been doing and what you've achieved for Northern Lights. This is a great night to celebrate all that you've achieved over the last 30 years and the team members are all proud of you. Have a great evening. Bye! Hi, I'm Dr Hilary Jones and I'm a patron of Northern Lights. Having been on two separate Lapland trips, I know firsthand what a fantastic and wonderful job the charity does year on year and day after day. From the very first moment I met Alan Johnson and many times since, I've been absolutely convinced of his dedication, his caring and his devotion to the charity. Alan is a true champion, the very, very best. And congratulations, Alan, you thoroughly deserve this Champions Award. Well, I think we all agree that the commitment that Alan Johnson has given to this wonderful charity for 30 years is exceptional. Let's go back to the awards ceremony now and find out who is the winner of the 2017 Champion of Champion Award. I just hope though that Santa manages to deliver the award on time. We just need a little bit of Christmas magic. <laughs> 